Welcome, friends, it's the thrift store one down where we bring the Hollywood home on a budget. Today, it's Wipe Out the Game from Activism Publishing. That's based upon the hit ABC game show from End of All, which was hosted by John Anderson, John Henson, and field commentary by Jill Wagner. And later, it was Vanessa Fasse. Then it was Jill Wagner again. Tuesday nights was always reality game show night in this house, at least for me anyway. Because I watched Wipeout, and then I survived the Japanese game show, and Wipeout was most certainly one of my favorites. I loved the comedic commentary of Henson, the sports-like commentary of Anderson, and Jill Wagner, the smoke show that is Jill Wagner, somewhere in between those. So this is Wipeout by Activision. And the great thing about it is, you get to hear the theme song upon the welcome screen. Ah! Such memories! Wipe out! One of my favorites! Anyway, you get to choose a um, TV mode, obstacle, or options. Don't select the credits, you're in for long credits. Ah, uh, hear that music? Thank you, David Vanacore. David Vanacore music hear that. He's like the king of reality TV music. Game show or otherwise. Anyway, the buttons here suggest that you jump, block, run, or crouch. The X button is to jump, A is to block, Y is to run, B is to crouch. Then you use the arrows to move the character. And then you pause the game by hitting the stop button. So this is going to be the TV mode. Pick a character. So you have your selection of characters. And their ability to jump, speed, and agility. This is going to be a good character for me to pick. Alright. Using the controls again. X button is to jump. A is to block. B is to crouch. And 1 is to Y. And these are the ass for you to move your character. Let's move on! Five obstacles await each contestant in round one, like dragons in some primeval fiery expanse. Yeah, something like that. This game actually features the voices of John, John, and Jill. So you know it's a very authentic experience. Anyway, this series follows the formula in which contestants battle their way through a series of wacky obstacles like the big balls in order to make it to the wipeout zone the series is a, basically a game show of really wacky obstacle courses um, they make their way into the wipeout zone and the wipeout zone is where they would win $50,000 if they won a man who dreams of opening an online fitness studio sounds pretty worldwide weird that's still wack now, I'm a... Talk about falling for our obstacle. Hmm. All right. So I'm making my way to the beginning of this obstacle. I forget what the name is. <laughs> um... Let me check with here. Oh, yeah, this is the qualifier. Ooh. <laughs> Probably should have jumped first. Ugh, wipe out. Wipe out again. Oh, look at that. I made the 30 balls. Those are the big balls. Not everyone makes their way into the big balls. Oh, talk about a smack. And not everyone makes their way through this game, which is called the Sucker Punch. And you thought this was gonna be boring. Never a dumb... Oh, not at all, John Henson. Never dull. Ooh, I might make it. Oh, nice. So this is the qualifier game. And I actually lost. Um, 
This actually dis this is the leaderboard right now. It also displays the name of the uh, different obstacle courses within the qualifier. The other rounds include the and, and the games will the games will vary. The different games in the qualifier and wipeout zone in the rounds, which are four rounds, they'll vary from episode to episode. And the wipeout zone is where the soul takes a more serious time. Because if they lose the wipeout zone, then they wipe out with their chance of winning $50,000. Anyway, that said, didn't get to hear John Anderson this time, but maybe next time. I cannot tell you enough how much I adored this game and how much I adored this show. No matter if I wiped out or not. John Anderson, John Henson, and Jill Wagner, along with the theme song. And the commentary of all three of these, you know, cast members gave me life. Before that expression was even popular. So... I am very happy to have got this. I did not buy this at the thrift store. However. I did not even buy this at GameStop. No, I will confess that I saw this at Toys R Us in Atlantic City. And I have been saving the money to buy a electric piano. A little piano. I actually bought this. Along with a few other games. And my change was one dollar. Toys R Us is like kryptonite. But that's not here nor there. The point is, this is an awesome game. It's an authentic game. It's from Activision Publishing. Based upon the hit ABC show from End the Ball and Pulse Creative. It's created by Matt Kunitz. I'm sure you'll find full episodes on YouTube. If not, then you'll find clips. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't do what I did and bought it at retail. Buy it for a low price. And I'll tell you where in the description box. This is the Store Rundown. Thanks for watching. We bring Hollywood home on a budget.